Hi guys, I'm Haritha Kanandra and today I'm here at the Sandor Aquatic Centre in Smethwick. This £73 million pound project seats up to 5,000 people and in fact is the only and is the newest built venue for the Commonwealth Games. The legacy it's going to leave this community is going to be amazing. I'm super thrilled to be here and who knows, the next Olympic or Commonwealth star may be from Smethwick. How does it feel to be in a brand new swimming pool? Oh, it's, it's, it's amazing. I think it's great to, like, yeah, to be here, to be honest, and to have this facility in Birmingham, but also in Sandwell too, and, in, and create that legacy for the Sandwell community after the Games happens. And yeah, you see here, it's not just a, a big 50 metre swimming pool, but um, you've got the diving facility, you've got the diving pool, you've got the little pool at the side. And I know after the Games happens as well, when it's it's given to the Sandwell um, community, you've got a gym, you're going to have, yeah, it's going to be great use for the community. And I think that's one of the nice things, isn't it? It's about that legacy. Uh, I think the really important thing to say is this has been designed as a community-based leisure facility first and foremost that's accommodating the Commonwealth Games. So after the Games is over, um, we'll be going into another period of construction. You see the seats behind me. Uh, they'll be turned into things like dance studios, um, sports halls, all of that for the local residents. It's absolutely amazing. I mean, the size of the spectator stands and the lovely 50 metre pool that we rarely get opportunities to swim in is, yeah, it's just incredible. Today is definitely one of my highlights. I think we're at that stage of the journey where you know we're starting to see what we kind of call deliverables. We're starting to see real output from everyone's labour. So you know, being here today and just seeing what an incredible venue this is, and actually seeing the community and the local swimming club using it, which is the real value of this venue for legacy purposes. Same over at Alexander Stadium, you're seeing it all come together. I think so far that's definitely been my highlight. Once the Games is done, this can be used by the public. It's an opportunity for people to come and try out diving, try out swimming, and then hopefully one day they can also go to Commonwealth Games, Olympic Games. So um, yeah, it's really exciting. Your swim club is going to move over and start training here at this pool. How, how do you feel? Yeah, can't, I saw it for the first time today and just uh, blew me away to be honest. You know, where we train at now at the minute, in an old 30 metre pool, to then come in and see where we're going to be training in a year's time. Yeah, it's a massive uh, step up. It's been absolutely surreal being here at the Sano Aquatic Centre here today. I can't wait for this place to be packed out full of energy and excitement in the summer. I wonder which elite star will be diving from this number one block. Anyway, that's me signing off and splashing in for today. I'll see you guys soon.